And ultimately, this is what was really behind Edelgard's decision to try to unite Fodlin by force. Failure definitely factored into Edelgard's plans when she started to attack Fodlin. Because she could be feasibly defeated either by the people she is invading or those who slither in the dark either directly or indirectly. But she needed to be sure that whatever happens to her, change would take place no matter what. And that's kind of where it goes with like Claude and Dimitri are able to achieve as much as they did because Edelgard has already systemically destroyed so much of what she didn't want to see in Fodlin that even if she's defeated and gone, essentially the changes still take place. Too many people know what the nobility have done to exploit the people beneath them. Too many people know what the church has done to oppress society. They can't just leave everything the way that it was and just go back to it. There'll be another revolution on their hands. And so it lets Claude and Dimitri make the changes they wanted to make, which is really tragic and heartbreaking. Like, if you think about the sort of things that Edelgard wants, they're not, like, unseemly things to want based, like, her actual want. She wants public education. I mean, that should be a given. She wants the church to not be a centralized power. We dream that dream. This was just the only way that she thought it could be done. And it does empower the people after her who didn't want to go to that extreme to finally say, you have no choice now. We are playing nice, but we don't have to. All the citizens are going to be fed up with this. Uh, they'll definitely back us if we decide to continue to fight for their rights, which was Edelgard's ultimate motive. The only reason she wanted to unify Fodlin was so that everyone would be on the same page and things like what happened to House Ordelia wouldn't happen, hopefully, and then be able to institute no nobility, public access to education, all of the reform that she wanted to do and make it all as one. And Claude and Dimitri see that through for her. It's it's a really poignant sort of thing because, again, they were classmates. They were feasibly friends. So it's sort of in memoriam to her, even if they are the ones who had to defeat her.